then you can remove the strap bolts and on this particular Jeep they are 5 sixteenths and you can use a regular wrench but I'm going to use a ratchet on these I have had this off in the last uh, day so they aren't super tight and they usually will have probably a little Loctite on them so. but they shouldn't be super tight they should be Know, snug down but not bared down on. Set those aside. All right, and this situation I have this Jeep up on ramps in the back to elevate the rear end up and I have the wheels blocked and it's in reverse uh, in two-wheel drive so the rear end is locked up it's the brakes on and on ramps and that is when I go to pull this yoke off if any fluid uh, it'll I'm trying to minimize the fluid coming out of here because I've changed it just recently and so that's a, a tip maybe if you do it so once you have the drive shaft marked and everything and loose you can pop it off usually they'll be a little bit stuck so you might need a little pry bar what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably just set it down but you can also tie it up like right here with the bungee the bungee cord which ah, like this I'm gonna set it down for my situation and once that's off um, next step you want to do is you want to mark the relationship of the pinion shaft to the nut and then you want to take note of how many threads are exposed. And once you know how many threads are exposed, then you know how far to set this nut back in. You don't want to over torque it or under torque this nut. And then you also want to take note of, uh, this may be a p opinion based, but just take note of the way it's, the yoke is splined onto the shaft and you can also align that when you go back to put it together so you can take this paint pen or whatever you have get in here and mark the yoke and that way you'll get it back on the same Got that marked. And then this is the part where having an impact 
may be necessary because this nut is probably going to be at like 200 foot pounds of torque so so I'll show you what I'm going to do for this step because I don't have a compressor that will go up high enough pressure to run an impact on that nut This process I'm using is really not a process. 
once you have the wheel off, the way I'm going to do this is I have the driver's side front wheel off, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a pipe wrench to block this pinion and keep it from turning so you don't turn the vehicle and turn the axle and then in turn rotate the vehicle forward because it even with even with all the weight of the vehicle you'll still overcome that If you can get it propped, if you have a really big pipe wrench, that'll even be better because then it'll bottom the ground if you have a Jeep that's not too high off the ground. But then you can just block it like this if you want to prop it. So if you get it set up right so it'll grab and not fall, then I'm going to use a very large ratchet, which is all I have. I would say use a really big breaker bar maybe with the pipe on the end to cheat it. So what I'm going to do is I took this driver's side wheel off so I could get my foot on the end of this because it, it hit the tire and I couldn't get in here trying to do it before. So I'm going to try this and I think it might work. Wish me, wish me luck possible I break the socket, break the ratchet, and screw my whole job up. So I think if it stays where it's at, it, it'll work. Alright, here we go. So make sure this thing doesn't pop off and round it off or break the socket, which I think could happen. Oh, broke it loose. Heck yeah. Uh, there's my tip. If you struggle with the same process of getting this nut off, that's an idea. I'm so glad it worked. It's still a little tight on there. Oh, crap. Oh. An impact would make a short work of this job. Oh. Still a little, a little tight. Hold off. Let me see if I even... Oh, yeah, I did turn it. Good. Okay, now I'm gonna just keep loosening it up, so. I'm also gonna make a note, let me look at this. Make a note, make sure I don't go too far on the threads. Oh. All right, so. There's about yeah, one thread exposed, one and a half. 
second thread starting to come through. So yeah. Okay, let's do this. I was also thinking the worst case scenario, if I needed extra movement, I could take this control arm out. But I'm glad I didn't have to do that. is going to be putting it back on, I think. Oh yeah, it's coming off now. Yeah, and this socket I have for this isn't ideal. Don't get a 12 point, I'd get a six point socket. This is, I thought it was a little risky, but that's all I could find, at least for my time at the auto parts store. But luckily it worked. Oh, it smells like gear oil. Never been so happy to smell gear oil in my life. There's the nut. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to replace it, but I think it's good. There's the nut. And there's a washer. Back here, you gotta get out. Get a little screwdriver or magnet maybe to pull this out. I'm going to get a magnet. There you go. There's the washer and the nut. Those. Take the pipe wrench off. Alright. Set this aside. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I was planning that. Okay. That came right off. As you can see, no fluid came out. I wasn't expecting that. Um, then when you're ready to pull it out, have a drain pan underneath because it's likely going to drip. I'm just going to get a drain pan in the case because 
once you pull the seal, it'll start pouring a little bit, I'm guessing. All right, we'll set this under here. yoke out. There you go. You can check the ceiling surface for grooves. Not bad. Good thing this pinion didn't have a really any didn't have any play in it from side to side so that's good. That can blow seals out quickly. Now it's gonna be the fight. To the end of the night trying to pull this seal out. And I bought a tool for this job, which I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep or not, but got myself a seal puller. And uh, from what I can tell, a lot of this a lot of the time they just blow through break through the seals, so Let's see if this will work. tight fit in here. problem with this seal is it doesn't have a flange on it so I can't hammer it out with a chisel or which is kind of odd I don't know why this doesn't have one I think it's gonna break There it goes. Awesome. One piece. Well, that's freaking sweet. All right, well. Let's see where the seal 
little sealing lip was around this inner bore here. Let's see where the seal sealed. So now I'm gonna wipe that up and we'll go from there. Good tool, good tool. Worth the money, about $12 for this one. And it's a performance tool, uh, part number uh, W1219. Got the Sid O'Reilly Auto Parts, worth it. Otherwise I would have been fighting up for hours to get that out. Okay. Didn't damage the inner surface in here, so that's good. I'm just gonna wipe the inside of this and clean it out clean all the any sealant possibly that could be in here from maybe an old replacement old silicone any sealant material compound in here try to get that out and in this case this hasn't been out before so it's fairly clean
gonna use a little bit of brake clean. Just a little bit. I'm gonna wipe this inner sealing surface off. Probably shop towels would be better for this. That way you don't get any little fibers in here. Okay, that wiped. I got my new seal for this axle. And it's a national oil seal. And this one is a uh, number 5778. For the stain of 30 front axle. Next thing I'm going to do is apply a little bit of lubricant to the inside lip of the seal. Uh, you can use grease, a little bit of grease, or gear oil would probably work okay.
Next, I'm going to apply a thin layer of silicone. to the inner ceiling surface just to assure no leaks. You don't need a lot of silicone, just a little layer, a little film layer, that's all you need. All you need is a light film, light coat, and it should be fine. Probably don't even have to do this, I'm just doing it as insurance that it won't leak again. Right, with that coated, now with the thin layer of silicone inside and the inside lip of the seal lubricated with grease or you can now tap it into place. Doesn't take a lot. Just a light, light taps.
Okay. Well, I popped any excess silicone. Then 